peeps. What's up? It's Josh. I am here in yet again a very chilly Malvern Manor. Um, so I am now uh, positioning myself up here in the attic of Malvern Manor, um, where again, it's a little chilly and uh, not fun at all. Um, so guys, here's what's cool about this place. Again, like I have all sorts of toys and stuff set up. I have the GoPro yet again. I think that actually saved our butts the last time that we were uh, investigating. Anyway, hearing all sorts of stuff. So anyway, um, that kind of scared me a little bit. But um, again, I think that having the GoPro kind of saved us a little bit um, when it comes to um, like capturing evidence. I mean, we never would have captured that door opening if it wasn't for me holding the GoPro. Um, so thank God we were able to do that. But up here, guys, in the attic of Malvern Manor, and for those of you that have been here, I apologize, um, because this will be kind of old hat, right? But we don't know what the purpose of this attic was. Now, if you kind of look around a little bit, and I don't know how well you'll be able to see it, however, there is, you know, trim and baseboards, moldings, um, you know, paint, all sorts of stuff. Like even this chimney here in the center of the room uh, has a paint job, right? Now, this chimney was knocked down because above us, which you can't really see on this camera here, but there is fire damage throughout all of this, all of these rafters and all of that stuff. So they knocked the chimney down because it was the cause of all the fire. But usually, guys, up here, it's a lot of like, Things like growling and scratching and disembodied voices telling you to F off and die and I'm Satan himself. And the majority of these noises are coming from the opposite sides of the walls. So it's kind of a head game. But initially when I was investigating, I thought, oh, maybe it's a family of raccoons or critters of some sort, right? Like it's an old building. It's very feasible that that could happen. So the only place that I can really then investigate that further is back here on either side, and I'll kind of switch over to the GoPro here. And on either side over here, there are these crawl space areas. And there's one on each side over there. So these crawl spaces go all the way back and through and down and then end up spitting you out down all the way at the other end of the hallway. Um, so, so far I have made nine separate trips back through the crawl spaces, specifically looking for uh, carcass, droppings, I mean, anything to suggest something is or was alive. And the only things that I have found are very personal items, uh, a tobacco pouch, playing cards, keys, uh, crushed up packs of cigarettes, things like that. Now, nothing suggesting an animal yet. Again, like I'm very tenacious when it comes to this stuff. So I realize that I'll probably be making a dozen more trips uh, through those crawl spaces. Um, so yeah, whoever this is does not enjoy the company of others. Um, he'll tell you some of the most horrible things you've ever heard in your life, but then he'll beg you for alcohol and cigarettes, which is why I have this cute little collection sitting right here. More of a peace offering, right? Let me do my job. I'll let you do your job type of thing. You can mess with everybody else and just leave me the hell alone uh, type of deal. But guys, as far as the investigation itself, we're gonna get right down and dirty into it, okay? We've got the geoport setting up right over here. Uh, I've got a K2 meter sitting over by it, which I will be using um, with my hand, obviously. Um, what else do I have up here? This right here, for an example. Um, this is that laser grid, which I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna power on now. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and turn that guy on and we're gonna let it calibrate. So it's going to do its thing, calibrate here. You can kind of see how it has this array now of, of beams that it's shooting. These cross sections of, of light. So again, now wait a second here. This is looking all wonky. Guys, let me fix this. Let me just mess around with... Well, that doesn't seem to work at all. Hello? What is going on? 
Why is this acting like this? I mean, look at this thing. All right, so just kind of troubleshooting a little bit. We'll blow on the sensor. <laughs> Maybe clear any dust or anything like that that could have potentially been in the way. And we'll try it again. We'll try this this way and see what we can come up with. It, it's weird. Like when we were setting this up, like I, I tested this. Everything was looking good. Everything was working just fine as it is now, it seems to be. It's still doing all this wonky crap. One more time. Just one more time. Anyway, my God. So while that's kind of calibrating and getting itself going, I'm going to grab this K2 meter right here. Obviously, just a pretty generic standard uh, EMF detector. So looking for any disembodied pockets of free-floating energy or anything like that, right? Um, my God, this thing is just going nuts. All right, so I'm going to try to put my hand in front of it and see if that might help in any way. Maybe moving the beams around a little bit might help, but no, it doesn't seem to be. Okay, well, it might be something that we just have to live with, and hopefully we can hear this thing alarm if it does, in fact, capture anything other than me. Let's see if it even picks me up. Kind of and not really. So, right now, guys, I want to ask any spirit that's up here to maybe come and hang out with us for a little bit. Huh. Just bizarre that that would act, act like this. Never had an issue with this thing. One of my favorite pieces of equipment, for sure, bar none. I guess we'll just have to turn it on and if it works, it works. So if there is any spirit up here that wants to communicate with us in some way, I think you know who I am. My name is Josh. And I'm just trying to get to know you a little better. I think by this time you probably already know who I am, right? I'm here every single day. Um, I come up here quite often just trying to communicate with you. Is there a way that you can let me know that you're here? Let me know that you're here with us. Should I turn on the geo port? I'm going to turn it on. Let's see what you got to say. I'm turning down. Hello? Hey! What is, what is your name? God damn, there's a lot of voices coming out through here. Can you say my name? 
Yep. What's my name? Hey. Listen. Paul, again, my friend Paul. You know, our buddy Paul's coming this weekend. He wants to hang out with you guys. I'm going to turn this off. Hmm. Interesting. Though. Okay. Yes, my friend Chris, he'll be here as well this weekend. My buddy Jason will be here. Paul. Paul. Do you guys have a message for Paul? <laughs> so far, guys, I mean, there's a few, like, intelligent responses, but it sounds like gibberish so far, like, just kind of, like, little blinks and things like that just coming out. I mean, I don't know what to make of it, but... Yeah. Let me know who you are. What? It is. Whew. It feels weird up here. Maybe. Did you say, did you say my name? Okay. Well, I'm going to turn this off then. No. <laughs> if you really want to get my attention, I need you to knock on something. You make a noise of some sort. Maybe even speak. So we were downstairs. We were filming in the hallway downstairs just a few days ago. And they were using their voice. Like I could actually hear them speaking. There was movement over there. Hello? It sounded like it was coming right over here, from right over here on this staircase. 
which you can barely even see. What the fuck? Somebody is walking, for sure. Somebody is walking. Are you wearing boots? Like, I could hear your boots. Can you come towards me a little bit, please? Right over there by this creepy ass doll. Look at her. Yikes. Do you like the candles I've set up around the room? These little lanterns? With the candles inside of them, do you like them? I tell you what, if you can make a knock or a bang or a voice, anything, I will take all of this stuff out of here. I will leave you alone. Can you do that for me? That's me. Jeez. Any noise whatsoever. It has to be loud. It needs to be definitive. But let me know that you are here. Oh, I hear you. Oh my God, I hear you. Okay, do it again. Just one more time, I swear to God. Just one more time. Guys, I don't know how well the mic picked that up, but that was definite movement, definite footsteps. And they were pretty good. Do it one more time, please. <laughs> All right, thank you. Um, I did not expect that to happen. So look, I'm, I'm turning this off, setting it back down. I wanted to thank you. Is there a way maybe you could say like, you're welcome? No? Maybe tell me to f fuck off or something? More movement. Hi. Who was who was the one walking? Okay. All right. Last chance, I'm gonna say goodbye. Uh, goodbye. Yes. <laughs> Get out. Yeah. I'm a, a, okay, you're right, you're right. I said I would leave if you made the noises and all that stuff and you made the noises and now I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. So, I mean, I obviously, 
asked for footsteps or a noise of some sort and it did it. I mean, <laughs> so now I'm just kind of at a loss for words. Um, God, I really don't know how well that picked up on here, but it was definitive twice. I mean, it was very cool. Very, very cool. Ah, I'm still a little freaking peeved off that this thing didn't work. Um, so I'm going to mess with it a little bit and see what's going on. It might just be a battery thing. I don't know. Um, but we'll f I'll figure it out, obviously. And we'll be able to play a little more. So, guys, if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. Especially, like, all the new followers that we're getting. Um, outstanding. And welcome aboard, guys. Welcome. And uh, take a look around. Let me know if you like uh, what you see. And for those of you that have already been here for a while, thank you. And thank you for checking out the other videos. I appreciate the hell out of it, guys. It's so great uh, to, to form a community here and to talk about things that we're all passionate about and explore things that we're passionate about. So I appreciate that. Uh, but thank you guys very much. If you, you know, if you haven't done so yet, maybe considering or uh, maybe consider giving the, the channel a like or a follow, or whatever it is that we do here on YouTube. So, anyway, guys, I appreciate it. We'll talk to you soon. Peace.